Hey, so I had this dream, um, and I had it about a week ago, and I want to tell you all why I'm just now giving it. So basically, today I had, um, well, today in the last couple of days, I had some really nasty, crazy comments from, from people that, um, and, uh, yeah, calling me all kind of names and everything, and it made me, I'm sitting here thinking to God about it, you know, I forgive these people, and it wasn't nothing that was really hurting me, you know, because God has taught me to be compassionate and, um, and loving towards people like that, but as I'm sitting here, um, you know, I'm actually looking up the three days of darkness, <laughs> so I'm doing something totally unrelated to, to this video, but I felt in my spirit that God told me to make this, um, to make this video. So some of the comments that I got were, um, somebody just told me today that if I say the word rapture and I don't say the date of the rapture, like if I start talking about the rapture and I don't give a date, that I'm a false prophet. And this is what they said. Okay. Um, I've also been accused by <laughs> somebody famous. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say his name, but he makes, uh, videos a lot of them, I mean, I, this guy has like tens of thousands of viewers, but I'm not going to say his name. But this guy told me straight up that I was not saved because I was not believing that we are angels. He believes that we are the fallen angels. And because I did not believe that, he told me straight up that I was not saved. Okay, I didn't know he had a heaven and a hell to put me in. But apparently, you know, I don't know, right? Yeah, I know he doesn't. But anyway. So, um, and then I have uh, had other people who have told me point blank that they know that the rapture is pre-trip, okay? They know this point blank. Or people that told me point blank, they know that the rapture is post-trip. So I'm going to mess with them both. But I actually get more hateful comments from the pre-trip people. You know, I'm just being honest. You know, I'm not, um, I have to air some of this dirty laundry because this is what I got in trouble for. So I'm going to tell you guys what happened in the dream. So in the dream, there was this lady, and I know this lady. She's a close friend of mine, um, very, very sweet lady, very, very humble, very, very meek. And um, in the dream, me and her both, both got the same exact dream so in the dream we had a dream like in the dream it showed like me and her were sleep like she was sleeping her um part of the world and i was sleeping my part of the world and um we both had the same dream it was jesus showing me this you know i'm, I'm with jesus and he's just showing me these you know showing me myself and this person dreaming and so then we went and made youtube videos about our vision that we had and um, she made a YouTube, and on, on the screen, I'm looking at a screen at this point, and half the screen was me, and the other half the screen was her. And so we making our YouTube videos, blah, 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 and Jesus is showing me different parts of the conversation, of my conversation and her conversation. And in my conversation, I was saying things like, well, this is what I saw, so this is going to happen. You know, I was like, point blank, this is what's going to happen. And she was saying things like, this is what I saw, so this may be happening. She was like, this might happen. I don't know. Pray about it. You all need to seek God about it. Pray about it. And um, ask God, you know, because I really don't know. I'm just telling you guys what I saw in my dream. And I was more like, this is going to happen for sure, you guys. I got it. I know it. You know, that's what I saw. And so God, Jesus was showing me that I was wrong for doing that, okay? And he told me that in the dream. He said he likes her approach because she, she was really just saying, you know, this is what I saw. And this, it could mean this. She was saying that, like, it might mean this, it might mean this, but I really don't know. And Jesus was telling, telling me to take that approach. Like I said, I had this dream about um, a week ago. So, you know, I have probably did two videos since then, and that's why uh, I'm starting to, to change my, you know, how I word things. And, like, one of them I had, the UN uh, confirmation yeah, I had this dream, maybe it wasn't a whole week ago, because I had this dream, like, right after I did that video. 
And because I had this dream, I went back and I edited the title and I put a question mark. Because at first I had it UN confirmation, I mean, UN invasion confirmation, like, you know, this is it. I know it's a UN invasion confirmation. But because I had this dream, I went back and put a question mark. Because Jesus was just teaching me that we really don't know, okay? And I know I'm going to get people that, um, you know, once again, are probably going to call me names and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about and blah, because they know this and they know they're the great guru of the earth. And, and, and the, when Jesus wrote the Bible, he was writing it because they were so smart and they was, he was writing about them. You know, I get these people all the time, you know? But Jesus told me point blank in this dream, he was telling me we really don't know. So I want to make this dream for anybody who is having dreams and visions like me. And definitely I made it for the scoffers um, because they are adamant about the things that they know. And I mean, some of these people will argue me uh, left and right, um, black, back and right. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. And I, you know, and I had another dream that I posted already where Jesus was saying that we should get along. We need to get along with each other. And you guys can go back and look at that dream and you can see how many thumb downs I got on that dream, you know. And a lot of people completely missed the whole message of that dream, which is so, so sad. The whole message is we need to stop thinking we know everything. We need to get, we need to come together. Jesus wants us to come together and, um, you know, and I, a lot of people thumbed it down because of some comment I made about the 144,000. But if you go back and re-listen to that dream, I said, I believe, maybe, I really don't know. I said all of those terms, okay? And I said, you know, this is what I thought, I saw, this is what I saw, and this is what I thought about it. Because I'm already changing the tune. But the whole message of that video was how we need to not be separated. Now, I'm not going to say names. But since I have had that, that video, I have had, let me tell you, because I'm going I'm to talk about y'all. I'm sorry. But I have had people um, um, practically cuss me out because of comments I made about the pre-trip rapture because they know, they know, they know everything. Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't know you knew everything because maybe I should be praying to you instead of God. But, you know, I'm going to leave that alone. Anyway, and I've had people tell me that they know about the 144,000. They know this. They know that. Okay, um, you're in error because I got in trouble for that, saints. And if I got in trouble for that, I'm telling you, I'm not the only one. And that's why I'm making this video. And I had, you know, people have blocked me, blocked me because of that video. Now, here's a video that I made about how we need to get along and how God wants us to get along, and he wants to, to anticipate the rapture. And I have had people block me, unfriend me on Facebook, unsub, unsub me from YouTube. No, I'm just going to tell you guys about yourselves, okay? You totally miss the whole point of that dream. And that, that is really sad. That's really sad. But it's okay. It's okay. But if there are any true saints of God out there, you need to put your, your, your differences aside, and we need to get along. You guys, I'm not perfect. I am not perfect. I'm going to tell you straight up, I'm not perfect. And this, this video is airing my dirty laundry. I don't have to make a video airing my dirty laundry. It's not the first one. You know, anybody that's followed this channel knows that I, I have, you know, I air my dirty laundry all the time. I do what God tells me to do. I was in hell for masturbation. I made a video about that. You think that was easy for me? No, it was not. It was very embarrassing. And I've had people say all kind of things about me from that video. Call me all kind of names, the black sea and, you know, the, you know, sea being a nasty term and, you know, all, just all kind of names, all kind of names. Okay. I didn't have to do that. And even now, if I didn't want to deal with it, I can go back and delete that video and I can delete other videos while I have aired my dirty laundry. Cause you guys, I am not perfect. And I'm sorry because there's a lot of Christians who really think they are perfect and they know everything. They know everything. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Stop reading the Bible and give them a call because these people know everything. You know, I'm sorry. I don't know everything. And I got in trouble for that. <laughs> I'm not lying. I said on another video, I can't remember which one it was, but I said I don't know everything. And I had people telling me off for that. Like, well, you shouldn't be making videos, and you don't know nothing, and you need to read the Bible, and you don't even know nothing. And I was just like, are these people serious? 
you know, and this time I normally delete these comments, but this time I'm thinking I may just leave the comments if, when I get nasty comments. So people, other people can see, you know, what kind of things that come out of people's mouth that call themselves Christians. I may, I might actually stop deleting them. I've been praying about that. But anyway, um, yeah, because some of these people have channels. I'm going to tell you guys, they got like thousands of views. I mean, this one person was really nasty to me. They have like uh, 4,000 views a video. Now, I'm, I'm not the one going to say names. People are going to embarrass their own self. And I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to start, start leaving the comments. I may block them if they continue to be nasty to me and nasty towards other people. But I may actually leave the comments because people need to know people's true colors, okay? Now, I've had these people be nasty to me, and I'm going to tell you something right now. Very, very few people, I can probably count them on one hand, could ever say I said something nasty to them back. And even people listening to this message probably have no idea that I know that they blocked me. But I know. But did I send you a nasty comment? Did I, um, did I, you know, did I say something horrible to you? No, I did not. No, I did not. And you know that. Whoever you are, you know that. Because God has commanded me to walk in compassion and love, even towards my enemies. And honey, you guys got the same command, okay? Let me just tell you. Now, I love you all. Please, let's get along. This is my dream. We need to be, be careful how we word things because, you know, Jesus is saying we really, we don't know everything. Just, you know, if you have dreams, you know, this is a warning for you as well. God bless you. I love you with all my heart. Even the scoffers, I love you and I pray for you. There is not one scoffer I've ever had that I did not pray for. You better believe it. I pray for every one of you, whether you like it or not. And I not only pray for you, I pray for your family. I pray for your homes. I pray, I pray for your blessings. You better believe it. And I don't care what you say. I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> anyway, God bless you. God bless you. Let's hold hands. Let's make it to the promised land. Goodbye.